and a new Fox poll that shows voters' trust on certain issues. President Biden beating Donald Trump on climate change, abortion, election integrity, and a slight edge on health care. But Trump wins on foreign policy, the economy, and immigration. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee joins us this morning. Great to see you, Governor. Uh, what issues, that said about the poll, what issues do you think are going to matter most in this election? I think it's going to be the border and it's going to be groceries and gasoline. That's where people are touched mm. every single day. Uh, abortion may be an emotional issue for people both uh, on the right and the left, but very few people uh, are going to be personally as affected by that as they will by what they have to pay to put gas in their car, what they pay to put mm. bacon, bread, and butter on the table, and whether or not they believe that we're protecting our citizens by having a controlled border and dealing with crime in the big cities. Those are issues that touch Americans. And what we're seeing is a huge shift of those reliably traditional Democrats who are saying, you know, I'm just not that well off anymore. I, I'm much worse off than I was four years ago. And maybe I don't like Donald Trump's tweets, but by golly, I like the America I was living in when he was president a whole lot more. Yeah, I want to get into the campaign itself. Joe Biden pulling in more than $26 million from yesterday's fundraiser uh, in New York City. By the way, Trump is hoping to bring in $33 million at a fundraiser in Florida next week. I, I ask you this. If it wasn't for the liberal billionaires and the celebrities out of Hollywood, I mean, how much money would the uh, president really have raised? I mean, that's just a lot of big-time donors, right? Well, it, it absolutely is. This was a star-studded event. By the way, I have it on good authority that you had to spend about $500,000, uh, you know, to have your picture made with the three former presidents, or well, the two former presidents <laughs> and the current one, who hopefully will be a former one by the time November rolls around. But if you paid 750000 you were not uh, forced to be photographed and seen with any of them. So that may be the real reason they raised so much money, uh, you know, Ashley, because if you want to be seen with them, you got to pay a certain amount. If you don't want to be seen and you don't want anyone to know you were there, you got to pay more money for that. You, there's no doubt that uh, Trump has fallen behind Biden when it comes to fundraising. Uh, the, the Democrats have kind of said, hey, Donald Trump is the one with the basement strategy. Well, that's because Democrat DAs in all these blue cities have been tying him up in court, so he hasn't been able to be out on the campaign trail. Um, do you think Trump will catch up when it comes to fundraising, and how important is that? I don't think he has to have the same amount of money. Let's keep in mind that a lot of the donors to Joe Biden, uh, these are the billionaires, you know, all in the name of the party yeah. that's supposed to be for the working class and the little guy. But the truth is Donald Trump has the working class people on his side and his contributions, there will be many more of them. They'll be smaller, but he'll have enough money to uh, not only compete, but to win. He doesn't have to have as much as Biden. I mean, you got to remember, Donald Trump is out there every day doing rallies in front of 60,000 people. Joe needs six people to grab him by the arm and help him get off the stage the right way. And he doesn't pull together a big rally. Uh, he rarely does interviews. He almost never talks to the press. And even this week, he's now said, uh, that he's probably going to spend more time with local reporters than he is with national reporters. And I'm thinking mm. he hadn't spent any time with the national reporters. So if he spends no. maybe two minutes a month more, he's really boosting up his uh, transparency. <laughs> OK, we'll have to leave it there, but always terrific stuff. Governor, thanks so much. And uh, thank you for being with us on this uh, Good Friday. We really appreciate it. Happy Easter. Thank you.